Good morning, Corn London TV. Would like to um, discuss dollar yen. Daily chart, um, you can see, it's been quite interesting uh, on the uh, this pair. It has been rising um, for five consecutive days last week uh, on the back of uh, rising uh, U.S. Treasury yields as well as uh, market expectation uh, of uh, election win by the ruling uh, LDP. So uh, these two factors uh, had boosted uh, risk um, appetite. So although that uh, the dollar um, opened higher and uh, climbed to a fresh three-month high of 11410 at uh, Tokyo Open yesterday, uh, price then uh, ratcheted lower due to uh, broad-based um, profit taking on the dollar as well as um, uh, active cross unwinding uh, in the yen cross. And then um, later in the day in New York afternoon, the uh, price um, fell quickly to 11325, uh, suggesting that uh, we have seen uh, a temporary top. And so we will see uh, maybe a day or two of uh, consolidation before uh, the uh, the up move, um, which started uh, in September at 107.32, uh, continues. So um, on the daily chart, uh, if we can break uh, 11449, uh, that was high made in July and close above there. If uh, we do see this price action, then the technical picture would improve uh, for the dollar to head to 11551. Uh, That's the next uh, upside um, chart objective. Uh, obviously, the fundamentals um, are quite important. Uh, we are going to uh, know pretty soon uh, this week. Uh, who U.S. Trump is going to pick uh, to become the next Fed uh, chair. So if um, uh, John Taylor, uh, which the market perceives as a hawk, uh, if, he, he, if he is the man to run the Fed, then uh, I think that the U.S. yields uh, will uh, go higher. Currently, the U.S. Um, the benchmark two year, uh, the ten year rather, uh, is um, uh, meeting resistance at 2.4 percent. But if we can close above 2.4 percent, uh, then uh, the uh, the ten year yields uh, will move uh, eventually towards uh, last year's high uh, made in the December uh, at 2.64 percent. If this scenario does uh, play out, uh, then the, the dollar yen, uh, I think, uh, would have much more upside uh, potential. But um, that's um, just uh, a speculation of um, whether that uh, we're going to see a hawkish or a dovish uh, Fed chair. So for trading, I recommend that um, we can buy on uh, present uh, pullback. Uh, the dollar yen currently is trading around 11332. So I, so I would be a buy at 11320. Uh, for a one half yen uh, upside uh, target at, at 11470 with a stop loss at 11265. If we break below the, um, the uh, 112.6870 uh, minus support, then the, the risk is to the downside for a stronger retracement of recent up move. Then the, the downside risk um, would point to 11230. But uh, I believe that. Um, the low that we have seen uh, this month at 11165 uh, should remain intact. So for those uh, who have uh, a deep pocket, uh, then you can put your stop loss below 11165. Uh, and then the target, you can raise it to a uh, and and a half. Now let's talk about uh, the medium term outlook uh, for the dollar yen. Um, the reason why I been not very much interested uh, to discuss the, the medium term picture because it's been quite boring um, you can see from the uh, the weekly chart uh, the uh, the dollar yen actually um, fell in an erratic uh, fashion from um, this year's high um, at 11861 to um, a 10 half month low of 107.32 uh, last month in September uh, but since then, I mean, uh, the price action um, um, suddenly uh, has sprung to life. Um, price has um, risen quite strongly and uh, hitting um, a fresh three-month high at 11410. So if we can close on a daily basis or even weekly basis above um, uh, the overhead resistance at 11449, then um, if this um, 
price action does play out, uh, then the the outlook would improve uh, for a quick rise to one one five fifty one, and then uh, a retest of um, uh, the previous resistance at one one eight sixty six. Uh, that was the high that made in December sixty six there, and uh, uh, twenty sixteen rather. So uh, recommendation is to buy the uh, the dollar yen uh, on dips um, anywhere around uh, one one two uh, fig figure ten area uh, with a stop loss uh, below one 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 sixty five. So that's um, this month's low. If we uh, close on a weekly basis below one 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 sixty five, then uh, it would the tick picture would turn just as boring because that means uh, the price remains stuck within uh, the broad range of uh, 107.32 maybe to uh, 114.49 uh, for the um, rest of uh, the year but um, but this is not not my uh, forecast on the dollar yen I think the dollar yen uh, still has uh, room to, to move higher so um, you put your money uh, and uh, and then uh, place a stop loss and see that uh, if um, the uh, the up mover does turn out to be uh, correct and uh, good luck thank you